In week seven, we put our pups through a series of tests to ascertain their personality. They are put in a room they've never been in before with someone they've never met. We watch as they respond, looking for signs like, is their tail up or down? Are they wagging the tail? Are they responding to what they're being asked to do? Are they being friendly, licking and mouthing the person, or are they biting and whining? These are indicators of their confidence and their friendliness. Then we observe the puppy's willingness to engage with a stranger and watch to see if it's friendly engagement. Then we observe how willing they are to cooperate with the stranger. In the game of fetch, puppies that fetch naturally have a strong instinct to cooperate and they're easily trained. Then we put them through the stroke test. This measures the puppy's degree of confidence. Are they willing to let that person touch them? The food test. This one assesses the puppy's confidence and potential aggression through food guarding. As the plate slides away, we watch to see the response. Will they attempt to eat it, not eat it, crouch submissively, or maybe growl when the food slides away? Then the noise test. This one definitely demonstrates confidence and boldness and curiosity. The restraint test observes the degree of dominant or submissive behaviour and the ease of handling when in stressful situations. The results of all of these are averaged out to determine the type of personality each puppy has. Then we can match the puppies with the best fit forever homes. A bold and confident pup like Basil is a great match for this family. He will run and live a very active life which he needs. A gentle cooperative, even slightly timid pup like Gracie is a great match for her owner who would like a cuddly, snuggly couch potato. Each owner fills out their questionnaire which indicates the type of pup that is the best fit for them. Then, bingo, the match is made and the owners are informed of the pup which best fits their lifestyle and needs. Owners are welcome to suggest the colour and sex and we take this into consideration if we can. However, sex and colour are way less more of priorities than personality. You might get the black girl, but she's a party animal and you just wanted a chilled, snuggly pup, which is not maybe the sex or colour you preferred, but in the long run, it's the personality that best fits your needs for the years to come. Personality is the most important factor in choosing a puppy and guarantees a great fit for life. We can't stress enough the importance of the personality test. Week seven is when we hold our puppy open day for the owners to meet their new pups and spend some time with them to meet the mamas. This is Lulu and then uh, Lulu and Gracie are our current main breeders with Bella who wasn't here this particular day. They get to meet their puppies, um, people who aren't on our wait list who maybe want to come and see what we're doing, get to come and uh, meet us and get to meet our dogs and meet, meet others that are passionate and um, excited about getting a Miracle Paws puppy. And of course you can watch all the antics that these puppies get up to have, and the fun they have. You can meet some of my helpers, Emily is one of the helpers that's been amazing and of course, at the end of the day, everybody is super tired and ready for bed. At eight weeks and four days, the puppies leave the puppy pen for their forever homes. And of course, a piece of our hearts always go with them. We love staying connected and hearing how these precious pups grow and adapt to their new life and their new adventures that um, await them outside the puppy pen. And of course, how well matched they've been to their owners. So I hope that explains personality testing, why and how we do it.